Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are fine. My name is Roma, ma'am, and I work at Sanskriti School. Today, we shall brush up our knowledge on numbers that are successors and predecessors. So let's get started. Please read the following instructions carefully before we start today's session. Now here are the answers to the rigid activities of session 6. You can always come back to slide number 4 to cross check your answers. Successor and predecessor. At the end of this session, the children will be able to write the successor of the given number and write the predecessor of the given number. Successor and predecessor are also known as after number and before number respectively. Successor is the number that comes after the given number. Now here we can see that numbers 1 to 12 are written in sequence. Now since 2 comes after 1, so 2 is the successor of number 1 and 3 is the successor of number 2 and so on. So what is going to be the successor of number 12? The next number is 13. So 13 is the successor of number 12. But this method is used only for small numbers. For bigger numbers, all we have to do is add 1 to the given number. For example, the successor of 13 will be 13 plus 1, which is 14. Predecessor. Predecessor is also called the number that comes before a given number. Now here, since 1 comes before 2, so 1 is the predecessor of number 2 and 2 is the predecessor of number 3 and so on. What will be the predecessor of number 9? Since 8 comes before 9, so 8 is the predecessor of number 9. So if you want to find the predecessor of a given number, simply subtract 1 from it. Example, predecessor of number 9 will be 9 minus 1 which is 8. Predecessor of number 13 will be 13 minus 1, which is 12. And predecessor of 20 would be 20 minus 1, 19. Now here are some more examples. Look at this number here. It is 4182. To find its successor, simply add 1 to it. And you would get the answer 4183. To know its predecessor, you have to subtract 1 from it. And you will get the predecessor 4181. Now read the other examples carefully. Now here is an activity for you to solve. Read these numbers carefully and find successor by adding 1 and predecessor by subtracting 1 from the given number. Let's do some more. In question number 2, you are to find the successor of these numbers by adding 1 to them. And in question number 3, you are to find the predecessors of the numbers given below by subtracting 1 from them. I hope you did a great job. I hope it was fun learning at your own pace. Thank you and have a great day.